Okay guys, to make it clear, Tarkov forced me to play like this. Since everybody's only playing with level 6 armor, Vector or with the HK, you have to step up to become the biggest tryhard in Escape from Tarkov right now. And I love customs. I streamed on Saturday and I only faced level 6 armor in combination with some HKs. But I don't have a problem and I want to present you my biggest tryhard weapon build in Escape from Tarkov right now. This is going to be the new meta, believe me guys. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back, glad to have you here and today I want to show you my most tryhard weapon build in Escape from Tarkov and good things for you guys, you can combine it with your favorite weapon. If you are playing the M1A SA58 or if you like to play the AR-15 without any suppressor for some good ergonomic stats, right now in Tarkov you have a disadvantage because the muzzle flash is so bright. This is realistic and it's good that we have this in Escape from Tarkov, but it is a disadvantage right now if you want to try hard and sweat all day. That's why we are here for. And if you are familiar with this channel, you know that I like woods. I like this short to long range action and that's why I like the 30 millimeter mount with the opportunity to mount my delta point sign on top of that. And I was thinking about okay how can I abuse this for my advantage. I don't want to run my M1A with a scope all the time. What is the best solution for that? What is the best solution to make this thing even better? And Nikita gave us one thing. The Night Force 34 millimeter mount is perfect for my demands. So what we are going to do right now is check out my M1A with the 34 millimeter mount. And some people in my stream asked me, hey dude, you forgot your scope. And I told them, nope, this is my try hard version to build for the M1A. You can adapt this build for your SA58, M4 or whatever you like. And with this method, you are going to avoid, as I said, the muzzle flash and the gas and all of that stuff because your scope is above, way above your barrel line. And another benefit is because the scope is so high above your barrel line, it's like you only have your mount and your scope in your POV and not the whole weapon. I like that and it's ridiculous in Escape from Tarkov that this method works and it worked very well. As you can see in my clips, I played the whole Saturday with the M1A and you can check my VOD on Twitch if you want. I played the M1A during the stream whole day and it worked perfectly and it's an insane combination. And again, you can use this method for every weapon you like. You only have to have the 34 millimeter mount. So is this going to be the new meta? Why not? Why not, guys? Once in a while we had a meta in Escape from Tarkov where the 45 degree mount was so powerful. Right now I think it's very good too because you have a little clearer line of sight. The Night Force 34 millimeter works perfect. It looks ridiculous. So that's why I'm going to play it and that's why I want to show you this opportunity to you. Don't take it too serious, but it's a little bit of try hardness in combination with memeing something in Escape from Tarkov. I think it's pretty decent. So let me know what you think about this M1A and let me know what you think about this opportunity in Escape from Tarkov. And I made a whole video about the M1A. It's the best weapon as a solo player because I don't like fully automatic weapons in Escape from Tarkov. Sometimes it's hard to control them and sometimes they will disappoint you. The M1A is straight, is brutal and you can have a lot of fun with the M1A. So I really, really recommend watch my M1A video. And right now I want to bring it to the end. I'm really interested in your feedback. Don't forget, we are streaming almost daily on Twitch about Escape from Tarkov and Hunt Showdown right now. And as always, we Germans want to win at least something. And if it's your like for this video, I would really appreciate it. And let's jump to the next one.